Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Rafael Benevides, and today you will see a demo of a continuous integration and a continuous deployment pipeline using open source technologies, just like Jenkins running on top of Kubernetes that will deploy a Quarkus application that uses Graal VM. So let's take a look at our application here. Uh, this is an application that's a web store. Uh, we can see that we have here some features just like the product details, the checkout. And what I want to do is to apply for the Black Friday uh, fixed discount uh, in this product. Okay? For every product that uh, someone wants to buy, there will be a fixed discount. So let's open Eclipse here and start modifying our application. So let's find it here. Uh, by the way, this is of course just HTML, but let's pretend that this is um, a cloud native application. Okay, of course I'm using it just the HTML here for demo pur purpose. Okay, so for Black Friday discount, there will be a fixed discount of 15 pounds. Okay, which of course will reduce the shopping cart to 200 okay now let's commit that change uh, let's say here black friday fixed discount so commit the change okay uh, let me show you something else here at my console i have some informations you can see that i'm running watch kubectl get pods okay that will show that shows my my Jenkins running uh, inside Kubernetes there is also this the cloud native application that I just showed to you running inside Kubernetes here I'm showing the labels of the cloud native application this is the build number two and I have also here uh, an endpoint that I show I, I I print the date, then I show the result of this endpoint and endpoint here every second. And why is that? Because because I want to show you that during the deployment there will be zero downtime. Okay, so let me also modify this message here. Okay, so let's start modifying our application. I'll change the hello resource to say uh this is the version 2 okay of course i need to change also the test case for this application so for the test case it will expect that the bar the body contains v2 hello okay now i can commit both files and say change it hello message now i will commit and push the change I send both changes that were committed locally to the remote repo so we can see them pushed here, the Black Friday fixed discount and the changed hello message in my git repo. So I can just close and now let's take a look on, at Jenkins. My Jenkins is configured to look for every change here. Every change on that repo will trigger a pipeline build. So let's wait for the pipeline to start. Okay, my pipeline line number three has started. And something interesting, there's something interesting about this pipeline. It's this pipeline uses the Kubernetes Jenkins plugin. That means that for that this specific build, let's open it here. Let's open the build number three. Let's open the console and you will see that it's waiting for the scheduled test. Uh, Jenkins doesn't have labeled my maven, so it will create a new container, a new slave pod. We can see that this container has started. Uh, it's it was built 25 seconds ago for this specific build. Okay, we can see it here. Uh, the the build will run inside this slave pod. This is great for uh, to spread the build load among our cluster because the, the, the pod can run on different nodes. 
okay so let's continue taking a look here at the console output we can see that it got the changes and it will continue the pipeline as we can see here performing the maven native build this stages here they will be also presenting graphically here so SSM checkout maven native build and for you to have an idea how this pipeline was constructed let me show you that inside my repository my git repo inside the web store folder where it contains the 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 application there is the jenkins file that contains the information for the, the this build so we can see here the information of the image for the the slave pod that will be used to build my, uh, my, the application the first stage here is to perform a git checkout then it will perform a maven native build so it uses maven with the profile native what does does it mean if we take here uh, take a look here on the build let's like open here the build number uh, three we can see that it uses Growl VM. Let's open the page here of Growl VM. Growl VM is a project from Oracle that creates native applications. No matter if you are using Python, Ruby, uh, it, it's a unique runtime that creates a faster and smaller applications. So, so I'm using that feature to compile that uh, cloud native application to a na native binary after that that native binary will be placed inside a docker image so i'm using here the command docker build to create this image here using the source file docker native then it will perform tests okay uh there's something imp important here to mention tests are something very important on a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline otherwise we will be just automating the the introduction of bugs on production so tests is something really important then of course the uh, uh, after the tests it will wait for a human approval to start the deployment so what we will do now is to wait for this uh, stage build native uh, uh, maven native build then i will continue showing to you the rest of the the pipeline uh, flow okay while we, we wait for the pipeline to finish we can note something here what triggered the build number three was two commits we can also uh, see those commits here black friday fixed discount and change it hello message because uh, Jenkins is integrated with github we can even click here in the link and that will redirect you to the github repo where you can see the changes performed okay so let's close this return to the change it hello message we can see the two files that we modified to, to add the v2 so these are the two changes that triggered this build and we can see that it was performed by Rafa Bene which is my username so now that it continued uh, it finished the maven build the docker image has been built we can see the logs here that it used the docker file instructions it is performing the tests and once that the test is is done then it will wait for approval so now let's wait for the approval now the application is waiting for approval so we can see here the logs that it's it still have the message hello and it's still the build number two the build number three hasn't has not been deployed yet so let's click here and say proceed with the deployment and let's take a look on what happens here during the deployment we will see that a new container will be created here with our cloud native application the build number three the build number three has started and suddenly 
here you the message has been changed from hello to v2 and now we can see the version 2 being re replied during the deployment no downtime has occurred and now let's take a look in our application if we refresh the checkout page we will see that the black friday discount is, has been applied for every product okay that this is re a really nice demo that showed how to perform a zero downtime continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline for more demos like this keep in touch thank you